Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So I quickly just want to let you all know that I did take a little break um, close to the end of the week last week because of Easter. I just wanted to be able to spend a little bit of time with my family. We had some family over, so I just wanted to take a break to enjoy the holiday, but today is Monday. I'm hoping this is a strong week and I can get some videos out for you guys, so happy Monday. I hope you all had a great Easter if you do celebrate, and I hope you did enjoy the weekend as well. Today's video, I am going to be showing you guys some products from a Daily Charm nail haul. I will also be doing some pretty awesome cat eye nails, so keep on watching for that. I really loved the outcome of these nails. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at these Daily Charm nail goodies. So as you guys may know, I absolutely love Daily Charm, and I am really so honored to be a brand ambassador for them. They have some truly amazing products, and I just love using their products. I also love that I get to pick out products every month. I am so thankful, and I just want to give a big thank you to Daily Charm. It is really such an honor, and I am so thankful thankful for this amazing opportunity. So Daily Charm did send these products to me as PR, but I was able to pick out the products from the website. So I just went ahead, unboxed everything, and then now I'm going to be showing each individual item, and we are just going to be taking a closer look at everything. So the first item was the thank you card. Everything also was wrapped nicely in some pink tissue paper. It's very cute when brands do that, wrap your items, or just give it a little bit, making it a little bit more special. You guys know the feeling when you open a nice package. So the first item here are some of their brand new Twinkle Twinkle Sparkling Glass Rhinestones, and this is their Opal Collection. So this is a collection of four Opal Rhinestones, but you can also purchase these rhinestones individually. So if you like two of the four or one of the four, you are able to purchase it individually. You do not have to purchase it as a collection, but do keep in mind when they have the bundles and the collections, the prices are discounted. I'm not, I can't remember exactly how much, but if you purchase something individually versus if you buy it in the bundle or the collection, you will get a little bit of a discount if you just go big and get the entire collection. So each of these, I believe the price for all of these are $14. I really can't remember and I'm not looking at the website currently, but all of these items will be linked down below in the description box in case you do see something that you really love or want to have. I also have a discount code with Daily Charm. That code is Nailed by Brandy and it will save you 10% off your Daily Charm purchases. That is an unlimited discount code so you can use it on all of your Daily Charm purchases if you do end up loving Daily Charm like I do. So these ones here, they all do have names. I also pulled out my little heart tray here. This heart tray, if you do not have it, it is a must have to add to your collection. It makes applying rhinestones so freaking easy. What it is, is it's a little tray and you can pour your rhinestones out in it and shake it and it will put the rhinestones facing up so when you go to pick them up with your rhinestone pickup tool, it just makes it so much easier. I love using these trays. It's also very nice because if you get lazy or if you just want to leave your rhinestones out, it does come with a lid so you can just put the lid on there and save it for the next day or whatever. So I decided that I would just open up all of these rhinestones and show them out of the package. These rhinestones, they did have a huge release of the Twinkle Twinkle Glass Rhinestone Collection, and they have so many colors now. I believe that recently they just launched eight new colors. They had some like pastels and then these like opal rhinestones. These are just some fun, pretty colors for spring. I decided to get the opal ones just because I really like how it has like that foggy like quartz design to it or look to it. I don't know, I don't have many rhinestones like this and I thought they were very different, unique, and of course super cute. 
I also really like these rhinestones because they are glass and they are extremely sparkly. I don't know for sure how many sizes there are. I think it is on the back of each box, but I did miss that each time I showed the box. But there is also a very wide variety of sizes in here. We have super small and super large rhinestones. And I think there are over 1,000 rhinestones in each pack, which I think is an amazing deal. And they are definitely some super sparkling rhinestones. So that just makes me want to get the other four colors that they newly released as well, just because of how gorgeous these rhinestones are. And I think adding rhinestones to your sets just makes it give a little bit more classy and a cuter look to it. So the next items I'm showing here are some stickers. Daily Charm really has the best nail art and like nail related items. And these stickers, they are super cute. I decided to pick up these ones with some white and black butterflies. Very simple, but will, will really create a absolute perfect spring or summer nail set. This deck next sticker sheet it doesn't look like it's from daily charm but they also do sell some other brands or products like this so this sticker sheet is actually from daily charm it just doesn't have the daily charm branding this one is really cute it has some like smiley faces with some different color flowers very colorful we also have some white flowers this one again will be perfect for spring and summer nail sets and honestly it kind of gives me that hippies vibe I really really like this sticker sheet here the next sticker sheet is generally something I wouldn't pick up just because clouds are really basic nail art but sometimes I'm doing a nail set and I want to do simple nail art, but I'm just not in the mood to do it. So having a sticker sheet even with simple nail art that you know that you can draw on the nail, sometimes you're just not in the mood to do it, but you still want to have some clouds on your nails. This is really like a perfect type of sticker sheet for that situation. These clouds also look super like hand drawn, which I really liked as well. It wasn't an absolute perfect shape it definitely gave like a fluffy look to it and I really like that about that cloud sticker sheet it also had some like little stars on it as well so the next item here this is just a magnet I'm not really sure what the black piece is I tried looking on the website but honestly I have no clue so if you know what this little black plastic piece is Please feel free to let me know down in the comment section. I may feel super stupid if you know what this is, but I had no idea whatsoever. It may be to create like a different type of design when using the magnet, but I just decided to pick up that magnet because it is great for your cat eye gel polishes. The next item is a Charm Gel Art Paint. It's a two-in-one art gel liner, and I picked it up in the metallic silver. I did flip it over so you can see the back, but I recommend not doing that. As you can see here, it did get a little bit messy because I flipped it upside down. It is always a good idea to keep these types of containers sitting upright so the product doesn't spill into the lid, and then you have a huge mess but I was able to clean that up. So you can use this for nail art or you can also just use it to cover an entire nail. I did swatch it out on my glove there and you can see it is almost like a mirror. It is so beautiful and it has so much pigment to really give it that metallic color. So the last items I am going to be showing are some charm gels. Because I do sit back a little bit away from my laptop when I'm doing my voiceovers, I do have a little bit of difficult time seeing the names and the numbers for these gel polishes. So I do apologize for that. If I was a little bit closer, I would be able to see it. So I'm pretty sure that you are able to see what I'm showing. So if you see like a color, you can just pause it to see what color it is. And then of course, I will be linking all of these charm gels down below in the description box. For the first three colors, these are more of a milky nude gel polish. I have been recently obsessed with milky nude shades. I don't know, there's just something about them 
that I just think they look so cute. I used to not like milky like nudes or milky colors in general like this but recently I have become to love them. I think a milky nude for a nail bed color just makes it look a little bit more like a cover color and just looks like your natural nail bed. I don't know. I just really like them. I think they are super cute and these three colors here were absolutely gorgeous. I also want to mention if you have not ever tried the charm gels from Daily Charm, you need to try them right now. They are a little bit pricey but you do get a full size 15 ml and they are also just amazing quality. You really get what you pay for with it being a little bit of a higher price compared to other gel polishes. Really, you are paying for the product and overall it is a truly good product. I also quickly want to clarify that this video is not being sponsored. These are really my true opinions and honest thoughts about the Daily Charm products. So here are those three Milky Nude colors swatched. It is a little bit difficult to see the difference on camera between the very far left and far right color. The one on the far right gives off a little bit more of a mauve or like a pinkish hue in the color and then the one on the left kind of gives off a more of a brown tone. It, they are completely different but just was a little harder to see on camera. So the last item in this Daily Charm nail haul is the Charm Gel Chameleon Cat Eye Gel Polish Collection. So I did get this as the collection, the six color collection, but again all of these colors I believe they are available to purchase individually. So again if you're only liking one or two of the colors you can just purchase those one or two colors or you can also just purchase it as the bundle or the six color collection. Again all of these are 15 ml bottles. I also love the design of the charm gel bottle. I don't know if I have ever mentioned that before but I just think they are such a pretty bottle to showcase. They're a very nice shape, very unique shape and then with the white bottle and the gold handle. I don't know just something about it. It's super cute and they're, they are the types of bottles that I do sit up and kind of like be able to see whenever you're whichever way you're looking in my nail room like you're able to see those bottles and I don't know I just think they're really cute to showcase either way these are cat eye gels they have become very very popular lately at this point I don't know if they have sold out but I was on the daily charm live um on one of the Fridays and I did hear them saying that this collection specifically was selling out super fast. This isn't a new collection but with Cat Eye becoming so popular recently this collection definitely is going fast and I didn't think they had many left in stock. But these are a chameleon cat eye so keep in mind that these gel polishes are best if applied over a black gel polish. So putting down a black gel polish first and then curing and then putting on top the cat eye gel polish. It will just give a better chameleon effect and really showcase the cat eye effect a lot better. I didn't feel like painting six sticks black and then applying the polish so I did just apply the cat eye polish and then messed around a little bit with the magnet just to show you guys that they are movable. You can use any type of magnet on these. I decided to use the rectangle one and then I also had a little like circular magnet which was also from Daily Charm and I used that one as well. I just wanted to play around a little bit with the swatch stick and really show you guys the color shift and all of that. For the actual nail set, the colors that I am going to be using, I will be applying them over a black background and you can really just tell a huge difference when it comes to applying the chameleon cat eyes over a black background. For all cat eye gel polishes, it isn't necessarily best over a black background, but for these ones specifically, in my opinion, I think they do look best over a black or darker colored background. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and let the rest of this chameleon cat eye swatching play out. There really isn't much for me to talk about other than that I am absolutely obsessed with these colors. Ever since the cat eye has become a huge hit, I love testing out cat eye and just getting better at moving around the polishes. I just think it's super fun and I really like the unique effect to it, how you can really just create a super custom design. So here are all six colors from that collection. Um, when I applied my second coat, I didn't mess around with the magnet just because I really wanted to focus on showing the actual color of the gel polish. So here is just all six of the colors. This does not have a black background, so definitely keep that in mind. But these colors are so gorgeous. I love this collection so, so much. And this collection was the collection I did end up using in today's nail set that was everything from today's daily charm nail haul don't forget i will be linking everything down below in the description box along with my discount code and affiliate link if you do shop through my affiliate link or purchase using my discount code i just want to say thank you so much i do earn a small commission and it really does help me out a lot so now we are ready to jump into the nail set. Today I am going to be showing you how to do Gel X nails at home and using the Daily Charm 3-step gel extension set. So starting off with some basic nail prep, I am taking a cuticle pusher and I am gently pushing back my cuticles. This is a very crucial step when you want the longevity of your nails. If you want them to last three plus weeks, you really want to go in there, remove any of that dead cuticle. You don't want to leave that on your nail plate because that is what is going to be causing the lifting near the cuticle and then the nail it can get water under it you can get greenies and of course your nails will lift and have the chances of popping off faster so cuticle work definitely take your time and get that cute dead cuticle lifted up off your natural nail plate so now I am going in here and I am just doing this for educational purposes, showing that you want to remove the shine from your natural nail. You can use a buffer. You can also use an e-file with a fine grit sanding band. I didn't actually do this step because I didn't feel it was necessary because I won't actually be leaving these nails on. I will just be applying a peel off base coat and removing these nails and I didn't feel it was necessary to thin out my nails for like an unnecessary reason. So I didn't do that, but definitely keep in mind, removing your natural shine from your nail plate, again, is a crucial step. Once you are finished with that, you will want to make sure you take a dust brush and remove any of that dust. Now we will be using the Daily Charm 3-step. So starting off with step number one, they call this the primer, but basically this is a nail dehydrator. Applying that to all of your nails will dehydrate them and remove any excess oils. 
Moving on to step number two, which I believe they call this the bonder. This is basically the primer. It is going to prime your natural nails and help for a better adhesion and make your nails last a lot longer. If you are struggling with lifting, I recommend applying two coats of step number two because that really can help out a lot with lifting. And lastly, I'm going in with step number three, which is the extension gel, and I am basically just using this as my base coat. You can just use a regular base coat if you don't like applying this product to your natural nails because it can be a little bit thicker and a little bit more time consuming to apply. So just if you don't like applying this product, just apply a base coat and then cure your nails in the nail lamp. So I just want to be clear with you guys and let you all know that those prep steps work perfectly for me when I am doing gel extensions or gel X nails on my toenails. I know you guys may be thinking to yourselves if you have not ever heard me say that yet, like how do you know those steps work if you aren't actually keeping the nails on? Well, to let you guys know, I do gel extensions and gel X nails on my toes. I do I do those those pretty much the same exact prep steps. Sometimes I do have to go a bit more in with like some cuticle nippers or really a cuticle ball bed to clean up my cuticles a little bit better but basically I do those same exact steps on my toenails and I can have my toenails lasting like one month or possibly longer of course I will have grow out but those toenails stay on there and they are stuck on there when I follow those prep steps so while I was just talking about that, I did go ahead and show the soft gel nail tips that I was going to be using, the Medium Coffin Clear Nail Tips from Daily Charm. I also went ahead and sized those out, and we are now ready to apply these to our natural nails. Using this step number three, the extension gel from Daily Charm, it is a total lifesaver. Honestly, it is so thick that it really reminds me of like a solid glue gel in a tube. Applying this product, it is just so thick. I love this ex extension gel so, so much. I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it already. I also recommend this entire three-step gel extension system along with the soft gel tips from Daily Charm as well. They do have a lot of different lengths and shapes from square, coffin, stiletto, almond, and then they have the medium, short, longer, and XXL, I believe. So you can choose some different shapes and sizes from their website. They also do have some pre-colored shapes as well. Let me know if you guys want me to try the pre-colored um, nail tips. I do have a box of those and I've been really wanting to try them so let me know if you want to see a review on those tips. But basically I am just applying the extend gel to the nail tips. I kind of apply it to the entire like cuticle nail bed area of the nail and then I will go ahead and go in and apply a little bit more near the cuticle. I will then place the nail tip down starting at my cuticle at a 45 degree angle slowly lowering it until all of that product has covered my entire natural nail and has also reached my free edge. I then hold it in place and do a quick five second cure. I pull it out to make sure it is straight and clean up anything if needed. I then go back in and do a 10 second cure and then I just pop them into my larger nail lamp and cure for 30 seconds. Me talking about my toenails did kind of get me a little bit behind, but I also did want to mention that it is pretty crucial for you to prep your soft gel nail tips as well. Going in there, etching them, and also applying a layer of primer can be super helpful in a longer lasting manicure. I just quickly wanted to mention that. Once the nails were cured for the full 30 second cure, I did go ahead and do any filing and buffing off camera. And now I am just going in with 001 Perfect Black. If you are searching for a perfect black or a perfect white, Daily Charm is the place to go. Their black and white gel polishes are so pigmented. And honestly, this black is so pigmented that I make sure I do a full 60 second cure just to make sure everything gets so cured fully just because it is super pigmented. So I am just going to be applying one coat of this to all of the nails and curing for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. 
I did go ahead and leave the me applying the polish in real time just so you can see how long it really takes me and just see the full effect of it being in real time. So I did only apply one coat of that black gel polish and like I mentioned I did go ahead and cure for 60 seconds in the nail lamp. I am now going to be applying H63 Abracadabra which is a darker black like kind of like a midnight sky twinkle gel polish and this is a super glittery. It is jam packed with glitter. It is one of their twinkle twinkle gel polishes. I believe that is the name of this collection. These are so stunning. They are a beautiful reflective gel polish. They shine like a disco ball in the sun or in low lighting under your phone's flash. So this idea did come from a girl that I follow on Instagram. She is absolutely amazing at nail art. I will go ahead and pop up her nail set that she did with this technique. I also am not correctly sure how to pronounce her name but I believe it is Reina or Rena something like that I do apologize if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly and you are watching this video but I did get this little inspirational like design from her with not just only applying the black gel polish but also going in with a twinkle twinkle reflective gel polish and applying that over top of the black before applying your cat eye gel polish just to give the nails a little bit more sparkle when i saw her nail design when she tried this i was like omg i'm obsessed i am now going to be applying a twinkle gel polish before I go in with my cat eye just because it really gives them a little bit more sparkle and I don't know I just think it's so unique and looks so good so I went ahead cleaned that up and then I did a 30 second cure the nails were looking so good as is but of course we are going to be also applying some cat eye on top so for the cat eye there were six colors in this collection but of course I could only pick five colors so the two colors that were very similar kind of on the reddish pinkish side I did only just use one of those and then use the rest of the colors and all of these cat eye are from the colors that I showed in the beginning of this video the chameleon cat eye collection so I am going to be doing a Aurora I think I'm pronouncing that correctly um, but I am going to be doing that design with cat eye I did get my inspiration for this from the daily charm Instagram I just thought when I saw them do Aurora with cat eye or like a black hole there are really so many different names for this design so whatever you call it that is how you can call, go by it or call it I personally think it's more of like a black hole or a Aurora design but I did see this on the Daily Charm Instagram I loved it and I am not a professional with cat eye. I really haven't been using cat eye too much and I do struggle a little bit with moving around the polish and getting the glitters in the center of the nail or wherever I want them. So I did struggle a little bit with this design but honestly 
I think it turned out really good and you can really tell like what I was going for. So I was super happy with myself. Basically what I did is I used the round magnet instead of the rectangle magnet and I went on all sides of the nail to move all of the glitter gel into the center of the nail. And then I just went ahead and circled around the nail with the magnet until all of the glitter was in the center of the nail, like kind of like a dot in the center. Once I did have that design where I liked it, I did make sure to do a 30 second cure because cat eye can move around and it can like ruin your design if you don't immediately cure afterwards. So if you are using cat eye polish and you're really going in with an extreme design like this, definitely make sure you are curing in between each finger. That way your cat eye polish doesn't move around on you. So I did also leave this in real time but since I did explain everything and I think it's best if I just shut up and continue letting this play out so you can kind of just see me doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I really hope that you guys are enjoying the video. If you are enjoying and haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so. It really helps me out a lot along with giving the video a like if you're enjoying and if you're feeling generous, leave a comment below. Once I was finished with the cat eye, I was obsessing over these nails. With adding the Twinkle Twinkle gel polish to the black, it just gave them a lot more sparkle and I loved that. It just made them look like space, like the, um, the extra glitter was more like stars in the nail and it was looking so good. Um, so I am now just going to be taking the Diamond Shine top coat, applying that to all of the nails and curing for 30 seconds. After the top coat was cured, that was the finishing touch to these nails. So I'm now going to be taking my cuticle oil, applying that to my cuticles to nourish them. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. This cuticle oil is also from Daily Charm and it smells amazing. But here is the finishing results of these nails. I love them so much. They are totally giving space and I don't know, I just love them a lot. Giving that Aurora design with the extra glitter in the background, like I mentioned, it really looks like stars in the background. And I don't know, it's kind of giving like planets, like a space 
definitely space nails. I love them so much. They are so sparkly and there are a lot of outside and like ending shots of these nails because I couldn't stop staring at them. So I thought let me just add a bunch of end shots. Maybe you guys won't be able to stop staring at them as well. You should totally try recreating this design. It turned out amazing. I'm obsessed with these nails and this was definitely one of those nail sets that I did not want to take off. I was so upset because it was kind of like a more of a rainy day. It was kind of drizzling when I was outside doing these shots so there was really no sun to show them how beautiful they are but just wait until you get to the last clip of these nails. I did go into a complete dark room and used my phone flash and these babies lit up they were so stunning and I am just truly obsessed with how these nails turned out again if you did see any products that I showed or used that you wanted to pick up for yourself or just check out in general on the Daily Charm website I will be leaving the links to everything that I did use and show down below in the description box again and along with my discount code, I would really appreciate if you purchase through my link or use my discount code if you are going to pick anything up from Daily Charm. Here are the end shots that I was talking about. Just look at them. I love the way they move around. They are absolutely stunning. I really hope that you guys did enjoy the video, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.